Welcome to the season 5 recap of The Crown. In 1953, Elizabeth launches the Royal Yacht Britannia. In 1991, Elizabeth and Philip make a two-week cruise abroad the aging Britannia while Charles and Diana travel to Italy for what is seen as their second honeymoon. Elizabeth meets the new Prime Minister John Major at Balmoral Castle and asks the government to fund renovations to Britannia. Philip, Charles, Diana and Margaret talk to Major during the Gillies Ball, each confiding their troubles. Major later tells his wife Norma that the royal family situation threatens the country's stability. Philip receives news of the Natchbull's daughter's death while giving an interview about how he got into carriage driving. To help a grieving Penelope, he introduces her to the sport. Diana learns from friend James Colthurst that journalist Andrew Morton plans to write a tell-all biography. Colthurst gets into a traffic accident, Morton's home is broken into, and Philip warns Diana about the consequences of disloyalty during a surprise visit. Morton's book is published amid growing tensions between Diana and the royal family. In 1946, Alexandria, Egypt Coca-Cola street vendor Mohammed Al Fayyad briefly meets the Duke and Duchess of Windsor. Mohammed has his son Dodi dismiss black waiter Sidney Johnson at a reception, but rehires him after discovering he was the Duke of Windsor's valet. At the Royal Windsor Horse Show, Mohammed meets Diana, whom the Queen sends to sit with him and introduces her to Dodi. Margaret receives a letter from Peter Townsend and learns he will be in London for a veteran's reception. The former lovers reunite, with Townsend saying that he plans to return the letters written during their relationship. A fire breaks out at Windsor Castle, destroying over 100 rooms. Margaret tells Elizabeth she is still furious that she was not allowed to marry Townsend. During a luncheon marking her Ruby Jubilee, Elizabeth delivers a speech describing 1992 as an anus horribilis. Following Elizabeth's decision to allow Charles and Diana to separate, the senior royals create an informal group of advisors to find ways to improve the monarchy's image. The group comes up with only minor measures and reports to the senior royals following a meeting with Charles stating that he is emerging from a scandal stronger than ever and is setting up his own circle of advisors to work on the prince's trust. In 1917, King George V and Queen Mary are asked by the British government to support the dispatch of a warship to Russia to bring Tsar Nicholas II and his family to the United Kingdom. In 1992, the Queen receives Russian President Boris at Buckingham Palace. On the state visit to Russia, Philip admits to the Queen that he has sought intellectual companionship elsewhere, the closest friend being Lady Romsey. The Queen invites Lady Romsey to make a public appearance alongside the royal family to dispel rumours of any impropriety. Prince William begins attending Eton College. Diana struggles with her separation and the changing relationship with her son. Martin Bashir, a journalist for the BBC Current Affairs programme Panorama, gains the confidence of Al Spencer, Diana's brother. Bashir claims that Charles and Diana's staff such as Patrick Jepson are spying for the security services. Bashir encourages Diana over her feelings of insecurity. Bashir and his editor Steve Hewlett are given the go-ahead by BBC Director General John Burt to conduct the interview. Earl Spencer notes inconsistencies in Bashir's accounts and advises Diana to cease contact, but Bashir persuades Diana to continue. Reviewing the footage, Bert is stunned by the explosive content and his misgivings about letting it air but does not terminate it. The Queen writes to Charles and Diana advising them to divorce. Diana deals with the fallout of the Panorama interview and the end of her relationship with Khan. With Charles and Diana unable to agree on settlement terms, the Queen asks Major to act as an intermediary. Charles visits Diana at her flat, where the two nearly make amends before the conversation turns into the marriage, at which point they argue again, prompting Charles to storm out. A government worker finalizes their divorce paperwork. A newsreel footage shows Charles and Diana's wedding. The Labour Party, led by Tony Blair, wins the 1997 general election by a landslide, with Blair making it clear that he will not fund a new yacht with taxpayers' money 
and his proposal for private financing rejected by the Queen, she decides to retire Britannia without replacement. Charles travels to Hong Kong to give a speech marking the handover of Hong Kong. After the handover ceremony, he meets Blair on Britannia to discuss modernizing the monarchy. Before the decommissioning of Britannia, the Queen returns to the yard for a private farewell. Thank you for watching the recap and if you liked it, then please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.